KW here and I'm so excited to be with you once again in a different way uh, for a different reason um, but we're still here simply and passionately if you're new to our channel thanks for coming thanks for watching if you um, haven't subscribed yet just do it it's like the red button below you might have to press a little arrow get down red button subscribe stay with us um, we are so happy to have you so much good news coming down the pipeline so you want to be subscribed so you can see it all right you guys, so last week we did Precious Moments Volume 2 and it was amazing because I was telling you that I have some really good news in April. Well then, um, I also told you that I had my recording already, you know, done for this week and I was really excited because I'm being proactive, key one of Simply Passion Living, um, but then it was deleted. <laughs> so I took it pretty good. I was like, okay, Lord, you know, it must be something else you want from me. But then there was like issue after issue, tripod missing, battery missing, things just not going my way. And so I was like, Lord, what is this? Like, what, what are you trying to teach me? And so that's why I really remember like, you know, the world sees what you're doing, but God knows why you're doing it. And that really brought to me like to light, like, wow, like we need to check our heart and I need to check my heart. And like, Lord, why do you have me in Simply Passion Life? Why do you have this channel even existing? And how do I keep my why in mind? And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Like, how do we keep our why in mind? Like, I'm here on the stoop, <laughs> no tripod, uh, making do what needs to be done because this is a mission. Like, this is not just about being an influencer or being a social media person. Like, I wanna help people. I wanna help people learn how to live with joy when you're crying one minute because things aren't going your way, but reality is that God is always with you. And so. Being in nature, being outside on my stoop, uh, post <laughs> bus drop off, um, just let me know, like, I can be real with you guys and let you know that it's so key to, to put your why at the forefront. Like, why are you living? A lot of people are looking for their purpose, looking for, you know, what am I here to do on the earth? But reality, but I believe that the most important question is why? Why do you act the way you do? What moves you? What inspires you what keeps you going like what can you stay up all night doing you know and that's the why you know why are you motivated are you motivated by people um, are you motivated by God are you motivated by a mission or by um, the fact that you know you believe that in principle you know what are we motivated by one thing I've learned to not be motivated by is by people even though I started Simply Passion Life for people and to help people, I can't let people's reactions, people's likes or comments or tweets or retweets or even their praise be the reason that I keep going. Because at the end of the day, I do this for people, but I do this with God. You know, I want God to be pleased because I want to show joy. I want to show that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that it is the joy of the salvation. Like, in him there's complete joy whether my tripod is in the trunk of my husband's car or whether my glasses my new glasses are broken by my toddler it doesn't matter like I have joy and that is my why like so that I can help you find joy everything every little thing and so it's so important to figure out like what is your why and whenever you find that you are more interested in people position or promotion Take a step back. Take a step back and say, okay, as I'm preparing for what I prayed for, what we talked about last week, as I'm overcoming fear and doubt, as we talked about the weeks before that, am I keeping my core? Am I keeping to the point of why I started this? Why did you start whatever you're doing? And it doesn't have to be the big things in life. Why did you have kids? Why did you get married? Why did you take that job? Why did you move into that neighborhood? And if you think back and the, maybe your motives weren't so great then, it's never too late to change. It's never too late to say, Lord, what should I be doing here? Why do I live in this neighborhood? Why do I work at this certain job? Whether I like it or not, Lord, help me find joy in it so that I can have a why that's deeper than just in my circumstances. So that when times get tough, 
and they do, you know, I'm all about telling y'all the real on Simply Passion Life. You can, you have a purpose. No matter where you are in life, there is a purpose to your life. And so, I'm coming here today to tell you guys, keep your why in mind. Always remember why you started. And if why you started was a kind of an impure motivation, restart again. Restart again with a pure motivation that I can't tell you. I can't tell you whether your motivations are pure. But I know if it starts with people, you're going to have to probably recheck it. And think about what is deeper, okay? Even if it starts with principle, right or wrong. Okay, I want to do this because it's right. Well, what happens when things don't necessarily change for the way you want? If I, everyone I reach, or everyone I talk to doesn't have more joy, then what? My purpose is still there. My purpose is still to help people live simply and passionately and to embrace every moment as an opportunity to love and be loved. But if that doesn't happen in each person I meet, I know that I did my purpose. I did, I lived my why to completion, you know? Um, and that is like so important. And I know that right now I'm like kind of freestyle talking to you guys because I want you to know that this is real life. Like Simply Passion Life is not just about me, it's about you. What are you doing? What is your why? What motivates you? I mean, yes, it could be people in your life that motivate you and that keep you going. But in depth, like, what's that inner zhuzh that keeps you pushing in the middle of the day, middle of the night, when things are not going your way? Find that why. And I trust, trust me, trust me, trust me, your purpose will be complete. You will find purpose whether you work at McDonald's or you work at Microsoft, okay? Because you have a why. If it's to bring joy to people, do it wherever you are. If it's to bring technology to people who don't have access, do it wherever you are. Make sure that your why doesn't change based on your circumstances, that you keep that in mind. You keep that at the forefront in everything that you do, you all. I just, I just love Simply Passionate Life. I love what it's doing to me. It's making me step out of my comfort zone. It's making me step out of what makes me feel good. It's making me think, why am I here? It's pushing me to ask myself these questions that I'm asking you. Why are we here? What are we here to do? Um, I went to a conference on Sunday and it talked about characteristic traits and your strengths. You guys should really look into it. Um, and I'll definitely link it below, but it was GPS Life Journey. It talked about the four different personality traits and how you have dominance and influencer and um, different types of personality traits. I always forget. <laughs> um, but reality, uh, it was funny because it was steadiness and conscientious. And I'm not conscientious at all, so I knew that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I ended up getting influencer. And I just thought it was hilarious because with all of the um, social media term of influencer, it made me laugh because I said, what do I want my influence to be? Uh, not so much fashion, although I love it. Uh, fitness, yeah, I love fitness too. Um, I could think of a million things. Uh, definitely not tech, because as you can see, I'm having technical difficulties every week. But really, if I was going to be an influencer, I would want people to be influenced by my joy. Not by my marriage, not by my parenting. All of those things are just out, or just the how, or how I show my joy. But I would want people to be in, influenced by my joy. That they would see that my joy comes from Christ, and that my joy is just here to help people see like life is not perfect. My life is not perfect. If I ever make you look, make it look like my life is perfect, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I ever make it look easy, I'm sorry, but I do want you to know that joy is complete uh, in him and that there is a lot in this world that you can do if you just take every moment as an opportunity to love and be loved, you guys, and just do that. Right below, what could you be more joyous about? What are areas in your life that you need to find out and reevaluate your why and keep your why in mind? Let's help each other. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out how we can get some more practical ways. I would say start with a journal. Start writing. I'm doing it <laughs> and start seeing why what is the, what, what is your purpose in every area of your life and how you're gonna flesh that out it could change from time to time place to place I'll see you guys next week same time same place we have our first Friday spotlight with Byron Stewart of Washington DC and that is recorded and saved I know it. <laughs> I'm going on family vacation so wish us a good time and I have great news coming up in April it's not April Fool's either so Follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you can see all the good news. I hope you have a fantastic day. Live simply and passionately. Enjoy your life because you only get one. Wow. I'm still going to dance when I'm outside. He's out here. Ah!